Hello everyone, I'm Aaron Pletz, and I'm going to take you through a quick video on vector search with AstroDB. So the first question you might ask if you haven't heard very much of this is, what are vectors? And secondly, why would I want to search on them? So vectors, in the mathematical sense, are properties or expressions of data as coordinates or dimensions um, with both a magnitude and a direction. This representation of data in a multidimensional space allows us to quickly and easily assess and approximate similarity. Vector search is a generative AI approach for quickly and easily assessing and approximating the similarity of data based on its tokenized vectors, which are usually generated by a machine learning model. There are actually a few different algorithms out there in vector search, which can be used to determine similarity between vectors. Um, the one that we're going to look at today, and probably the most popular, is what's known as ANN, or the approximate nearest neighbor, which is a cosine-based approach to vector similarity searching. In this case, we're going to use a natural language processing technique known as a bag of words. And in the bag of words strategy, essentially what we have here is we're going to look at specific products, um, a couple of types of dog food, a couple of toys, you know, a couple of types of treats. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to tokenize these product names to assess their similarity. So the first thing we do is we go through each product name and we look for the unique words to actually build our vocabulary. Um, in this case, there are 14 unique words used among these six product names uh, that, that we can build our vocabulary from. Then we'll build out a matrix with you know, our vocabulary at the top and our products on the side. And each product essentially gets a zero or a one based on whether or not the word is in the name. Um, so for that first product there, you can see that this is our healthy, fresh chicken raw dog food. Um, the second product there is our healthy, fresh beef raw dog food. Um, you know, and the, the next one too, we can see that this is a, um, you know, a dog tennis, tennis ball toy. Next one down is a dog's um, ring chew toy. Next, we have pupper sausage. Uh, bacon dog treats, and then finally, pupper sausage beef dog treats. As you can see, based on our, our vocabulary and whether or not those words are present with each product, we've been able to go ahead and create vectors for each of them. Let's create a new table. And you can see that I'm going to create this product vector um column of type vector and it's going to be a float with 14 dimensions and then those 14 dimensions are going to represent our uh, vocabulary for the bag of words approach next we'll want to create a storage attached secondary index so i'll say create custom index on and we'll say pet supply vectors and we want that on product vector. And we're going to say using storage attached index. There. So with that created, now let's go ahead and insert a row here. And this row into pet supply vectors is going to have our product ID, our product name of healthy, fresh chicken, raw dog food, and it's going to have the product vector embedding on the end of it. Let's take a look at that. There we go. That's in there. This is how our vector embedding should come back. Now let's go ahead and get the rest of our product rows in there. There we go. OK, and there you can see we have our six products um, with their names and their vectors. So now let's assume that we've gone ahead and added the healthy fresh chicken 
raw dog food product of PF1843 into our cart. And we want to trigger the nearest match of that vector. So let's go ahead and say select product ID, product name, and then we'll say similarity cosine. And we'll say uh, product vector. And we'll grab our chicken vector. And then we'll say from pet supply vectors, order by product vector, ANN of and then put our vector in one more time, and then we'll say limit two. And we'll say we'll say limit six. We'll bring them all back. And you know, real quick for clarity, let me redo this query by giving the similarity cosine an alias. So let's say clear, and then we'll up arrow on that, and then jump to the end of our similarity cosine function and say as similarity there so as you can see uh this query did return all of our products however notice in the similarity column here the first product that comes back so the vector we queried for obviously is a 100 percent match but this healthy fresh beef raw dog food is a 90 percent match so that's the one that we definitely want to show. So yeah, this is a little bit of how this all works at the CQL shell level. Next, let's have a look at a service that we've written to go ahead and bring back um, the next nearest suggested product based on, uh, based on the vector embedding. Um, so in here, I've created a Spring Boot service. Uh, we're going to call it Promotion Service. Uh, we're going to give it a product ID, and essentially, right here, you can see that it's doing a select based on that product ID. It's pulling back the product vector, and then it's running a query from that same table, but pulling back the approximate nearest neighbor um, doing a limit two. After going through both results and only including the different product in the result set, so not the 100% match, it then returns a response back to the caller. Let's give this a shot. You can see that we have our Maven project here. So let's go ahead and do a Maven clean install. All right, so we have a clean build here from Maven. Um, let's go ahead and start our Spring Boot app. There we go, that's running. And then from a different terminal window, let me go ahead and call that service. So I'll say, let's do a curl dash S dash X get, and we're gonna say it's a local HTTP 80. And we're going to say promo, oh, <laughs> promotion service. And that's going to be promo product. And we're going to say PF1843. And let's see if this works. All right. And as you can see here, running a ANN vector search for product PF1843 using its vector embedding we have returned product PF1844, which we know is a 90% match. 
Um, so in this case, we could pop up an advertisement saying, hey, we see that you like the healthy, fresh chicken raw dog food. Perhaps you'd like to try the healthy, fresh beef raw dog food at 10% off or, you know, some discount like that. To view the materials, code, and data that were used in this session, feel free to check out the following Git repo of github.com slash AAR0NP slash customer promotion vector search. Thank you very much and have a great day.